God is casting away every demonic force that is working against you. No demon, curse, setback, or bad break is going to hold you down. God is on the move. You are coming up. I speak financial increase, good health, and peace over you. Say Amen if you receive it. All your dreams will come true. Much sooner than you think. Things are about to change for you. Maybe overthinking and doubt exit your mind right now. May clarity replace confusion. May peace and calmness fill your life. You've been strong long enough, it's time to start receiving your blessings. You deserve it. Type yes if you needed this. God says, remember that my blessings are new each and every morning. Don't give up because of a bad day, and in Sreed rejoice because tomorrow is a new day with new blessings. God says, I am with you in your hard time or in your struggle. I am here to help you. Seek me and you will find me. God says, if you seek forgiveness, know that I have forgiven you. You are forgiven. You don't need to worry any further. I forgive you. Be calm. I love you. Comment Amen if you believe it. Proverbs 3 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Throughout February, do your best to use pain, frustration and inconvenience to motivate you rather than annoy you. You are in control of the way you look at life. John 14:14. 14, 14. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Amen. Do not conform to the passion of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. If someone's on your mind, pray for them. God may have put them on your mind for a reason. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. God says, you made it through a new week. You are strong, brave, and courageous. I love you. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. You're attracting only the best into your life right now. Welcome this new energy. Spiritual Warfare 101 Jesus is fighting for you in a battle he has already won. You don't have to be afraid of Satan's attacks, but ready to take your stand against them through the power of Christ. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle you will still be standing firm. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. I'm grateful I learned to care less about people liking me. The older get, 
the more I realized that life is not about having a lot of people liking me but having the indescribable peace, knowing that even if some people dislike me, I'm still worthy and deeply loved. As long as know my value, other people liking me will just be a plain bonus, but definitely not my life's purpose. Congratulations! God has decided the person who is reading this will be a millionaire in this year 2023 g like this video to claim. 8 Reasons Why You Should Put Your Trust in God God knows you by name. Fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. God loves you. In this the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. 1 John 4 9 God has plans for you. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29 hours 11 minutes God is always with you. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9 God helps you and gives you strength. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalms 46 1 God will fight for you. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14:14. 14, 14. God forgives you. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God gifts you everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Stop overthinking. If it's God's will, it'll happen. Sometimes God takes you on a journey you didn't know you needed to bring you everything you ever wanted. Trust the plan. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. God says, don't worry, I have not given up on you. I will forgive you again if you ask for forgiveness. I will cleanse you from all wrongs. Jeremiah 29,12-13 Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me, 
when you search for me with all your heart. Comment Amen if you believe in God.